Welcome to the Lynn Mass Sportscast. We're your host, Sean Donahue. And Caleb Reddick. The Lynn Mass Sportscast is a show that's dedicated to all sports in Lynn. What you can expect to see from us are player and coach interviews, uh, field segments, player highlights, as well as the question of the week. Um, today, we've got a pretty good show, uh, Caleb. I've got Jake Canty from the North Shore Tides coming down to talk about his basketball team. Tell us a little bit about who you've got on. Well, I have a jam-packed sh show today, Sean. I have English girls basketball player coming on. I have a track star from Lynn Tech, and I have... An English goalie, he's a freshman on the varsity hockey team, so it's a jam-packed show, Sean. Very exciting stuff, especially as the winter seasons kick off in the wide world of Lynn Sports today. There's lots going on. The Lynn Parks and Recs Department will offer a ski and snowboarding club at the Bradford Ski Area starting January 3rd. This will run through January, uh, February 7th and will go from 6 to 10 p.m. It's open to all levels of experience. You can contact Lisa Nerick at 781-268-8000. Can't stress how great of a program that sounds like. Absolutely. Uh, it's very hard for people to get out in the inner cities to hit the slope, so I'm hoping this program takes off. As am I. Um, the St. Mary's boys hockey team would lose to Arlington Catholic 3-1 at Connery Rink. St. Mary's girls hockey defeated Archbishop Williams 1-0 in Randolph. Lauren Skinnian had 30 saves in this shutout. Also in hockey news, the Lynn Jets took on Latin Academy at Matthews Arena and won 6-0. The Jets also beat Salem 7-1 with a hat trick from freshman John Kosman. The Jets are now 2-0. Congrats, guys. Uh, the St. Mary's girls basketball team defeated Cardinal Spellman in Brockton with a score of 74 to 48. The Lady Spartans are headed to Florida this week to compete in the KSA Classic held at the ESPN Wide World of Sports wow, that in Disney. Awesome. It's very exciting stuff. Uh, they went back in 2010 and won it all, so good luck to the Spartans. Good luck. Uh, hopefully you guys can bring it back again. So we're excited for our show. We've got a lot of guests here. Um, we're hoping you at home are as well. Now we're going to go to the Sideline Sportscast with Jessica Stavin. When it comes to sports in this city, basketball is king. Now the North Shore Tides are bringing professional basketball right back to Lynn. The North Shore Tides are a brand new semi-professional basketball team in the ABA. The same league that started careers like that of Dr. J. Now that the iconic league has been revitalized, the Tides are looking to make a name for themselves on the national scene. How have you felt the season's going so far? I think it's going really good. Um, I see the upside of the season. We got to stick together. If we stick together, we'll, we can make this thing work. We're ranked like top 25 right now, which is really, really good. You know, out of 70 teams, they have like power rankings, and we beat a few top teams already. Brand new team, brand new league right here in Lynn. How has the season been going so far? Uh, it's going well. You know, we got a lot of guys from the area coming together. You know, guys who played in NCAA Division One and some with professional experience. We kind of gathered them in, you know, to make a team, you know, to, to compete, uh, you know, in the uh, ABA, which is a semi-professional team in a semi-professional organization and league that we're doing pretty well in. What's kind of the goal of this league? The goal is to, um, to build your resume. This is, like he said, you start from the bottom, so this is a semi-pro team. Mm -hmm. This is where you um, get your, your first exposure, if you want to say, to um, to expand to the next level. This is exactly what this ABA is for, for guys like himself that didn't get a chance to go to, you know, big major university. We still have something local, and he's still good enough, and he was working out, and he stayed in the gym. So now you get an opportunity. You know, there's thousands of basketball players, only like 300 positions. What's your experience coming into this head coaching position? Um, I played a long, I played a few years in the minors and a long time over in Europe. Um, I was a second round pick in 95. Um, I lasted for a few months, um, got hurt, and I uh, took it over to Europe. But um, I've, I got a lot of experience in the minor leagues and uh, professional leagues. So this, this is pretty good for me, and it's a good experience. You were in the city of Lynn, and the city of Lynn has such a rich history, especially with basketball, and so much great talent has come out of here. What's it been like kind of going out in the community? I know you guys have gone to a couple of schools, and what's that been like kind of reaching out with some of the youth in Lynn? That's fun. It's just like you said, reaching out to the youth is key. You know, we went to a few schools. You see all the little kids smiling at you, and, you know, we're kind of big, so they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And, again, it, it's for the future. What are your goals for the rest of the season, what do you guys want to see at the end of the tunnel? Championship, no less than championship. The championship is what, what we're looking forward towards. The only goal at the end is to get that championship. Will you accept anything less? No, it's championship or bust. 
There are still a ton of games left in the North Shore Tides season. Make sure you check out their Facebook page or NorthShoreTides.com to learn more. For Lynn Mass Sportscast, I'm Jessica Starberg. Welcome back, Jessica. Thank you very much. Um, North Shore Tides is definitely a pertinent thing, seeing as the winter sports season is kicking off. And ironically enough, we have uh, the North Shore Tides owner, Jake Canty, here with us today to talk a little bit about what their program is about and why they exist. Jake, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Awesome news. Um, we learned a lot of stuff from that field segment. Uh, we got to meet some of your players. Uh, we met your coach. We saw where you practiced. The North Shore Tides, their first year. Tell us a little bit about the team. Okay, so um, this is our first year in the ABA. We're an expansion team. Um, almost all of our talent is from the North Shore area. Um, we we have about eight players from the city of Lynn and the rest from like Danvers, Salem, and all around the North Shore. Um, we've been competing in the ABA. Uh, right now our record's seven and two. We started back in November for our first game. Um, it's a competitive league. It's um, professional basketball, so we're playing against guys that played Division I professional ball in Europe, NBA players. Um, we just beat a team last week that eighth seed in the country with Smush Parker, who played for the LA Lakers. Wow. Yeah, so. Um, I can tell you the amount of work that you've taken on, Jake, is, is, is just, a, it's a lot. Um, you're realizing it now, your season started up in September. Um, tell us a little bit about the struggles that you go through. Yeah, I mean, so what, what we're trying to do is, is grow our fan base, you know, from like the generals, the, it's growing the fan base in professional sport. It's not like high school where you have all the student base follows the sports team because they're all friends and they all go together. We're a professional team. We're playing with, with men um, and we're trying to grow our fan base as a, as a professional team. Uh, I started, we started back in March fundraising with the team um, and it started as a part-time job, I thought, and it's become like <laughs> my life at this point. It's yeah. All I do, all I think, I sleep, I'm dreaming of, the, of what I'm doing. <laughs> There's no get, getting you, away from you it. You can't escape it. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, that's, I mean, it, it's cool because at semi-pro level, you get guys who play for the love. Right. Um, if fan bases are huge. What are you doing right now to grow that base? Yeah, so, so basically we, we're doing everything we can from we're trying to reach out to kids as much as we can because kids is, is the people we want in our stands. They're the funnest people to have. They make the most noise. They have the most fun. Um, we're also reaching out to senior citizens, the Greater Lynn senior citizens, um, the Gliss. Gliss, yeah. They're one of our big sponsors, so they sponsored us about a month ago, and they've been like so helpful with bringing bringing senior citizens to the games, promoting for us, letting awesome. people know, letting all the all the senior citizen homes around here know about what we're doing. And we've actually gone into like uh, one of the senior centers in Lynn, in downtown Lynn, and just like the the we walked in with our like four of our players and and everybody in the place pretty much knew who we were. Some guys had like great uncles and nephews, found new relatives when we walked in. It was, That's it awesome. was nuts, yeah. That's good stuff. Um, I mean, it's a good place to start. Yeah. Uh, the senior citizens, you know, a lot of those guys are looking for some stuff to do. Right. Um, and it's good to know that they can go to a professional basketball game mm -hmm. um, and not pay that professional price. Exactly. Um, you know, definitely basketball is such a big thing here in Lynn. Um, you picked a good town to go with. Last, uh, right now your record is seven and two. You beat some pretty high caliber teams. You started out 72nd place and now you guys are in 15th. Mm -hmm. um, you must be proud about that. You're doing something right, or at least the players are. Um, now you practice at the Lynn YMCA. The games are at Tech. Mm -hmm. What are you doing to kind of get your own home? Um, I know you guys are all over the place because it is your first year. So what are you looking to do in establishing a permanent home for the North Shore Tides? Right, so we, we formed a partnership with the Lynn YMCA. Um, who been? They've been unbelievable. So right now they're they're our home, a practice training facility. They 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 promote for us. We're going to be starting kids camps through the YMCA. So we're basically building our relationship with the kids in the groups over at the YMCA and Lynn. And and our goal is is basically is to 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 work with the YMCA to make that our home eventually where we can play out of the YMCA and that's the home of the North Shore Tides basketball and it's it's this is our first year so we're kind of beginning that partnership and we're getting that going but i mean 
every day we're in the Y. We're working with like Audrey and, and Greg and, and great people at the Y, Amy, and, and the, every single day we're there practicing and and they they their kid all the kids there love to come up and watch us play because they know all these guys as pro athletes. And, yeah. And, and the, the you can maybe take a little grown. bit from them, and mm -hmm. I mean the the Y is a great place, especially in the community of Lynn. Those guys do a lot um, for the youth here. Mm -hmm. um, it, there's a big, huge part of it. Right. Um, it would be awesome if you guys could get in there. I, I suggest keep rolling with it. Um, let's talk a little bit about the league, the ABA. Um, this league has some history. There are some guys who we all know of who have played in this. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Yeah, so this league's been around for um, since Dr. J played back in like the 60s, you know, the 70s. Dr. J started in the ABA. There were two competing leagues, the ABA and the NBA. Um, the NBA ended up gaining more attraction, and the the ABA kind of faded away. The NBA bought some of the teams, like Dr. J went started in the ABA, and they moved on into the the Sixers and the NBA because they were bought out by them. But the ABA has been around, and it's it's had some of the best talent. I mean, in the world, and and it's still it's the thing is people don't understand it's still it's still here, um, and it, it's growing. The past five years, it's grown. It started back in the back in maybe ten years ago. There was probably thirty teams in it. Now, like you said, there's seventy-two teams nationwide. It's amazing. It, it's growing every year. It gets bigger and bigger. North Shore Tides. Now, the goals, what you focus on, mm -hmm. what you're trying to achieve as an owner. You're a young guy. Mm -hmm. You own a basketball team already. I'm sure the ladies are all after you, which is a good thing. Uh, let me know how you do it. <laughs> um, but you guys have to have some like internal goals other than just like winning the championship. Um, what are some of the things you're trying to do in the future? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we're trying to take it day by day with the why and stuff, but our goal right now, win the ABA championship is first off. Is that, that's what we want to do. Um, there's a team down in Jacksonville that's won it back to back years. Um, they can't. They haven't been beat really in the past two years. So our t our goal is to beat them. Um, outside of that, um, I have I have some friends uh, that work within the D League um, and within the NBA. Uh, Walter McCarty ended at first actually started off with the Tides. When we first started back in March, Walter McCarty was the head coach of the Tides. Um, so he's gotten me involved with some some minor league um, owners and presidents and stuff. And, and our goal, our, short, our maybe two-year goal is, is hopefully maybe one day we'll be in the, uh, the D-League, owned by an, an NBA team. Is, is our, That's it, the ultimate goal, yeah. become pro. Yeah. And a lot of these guys, they end up joining the team with the same hopes. Mm -hmm. I mean, in high school, you have no choice but play for the love. Mm -hmm. In college, you have no choice but play for the love. Mm -hmm. At the professional level, you play for the money. But in the ABA, these guys are literally playing for a dream. That's why it's amazing. I mean, the physicality that they must go through, the games must be just exciting as, as, as it gets. Um, you guys are ranked among the top 20 in the whole entire ABA. This is a national circuit that you play on. Um, I mean, I think the potential here is pretty significant. I, I think that's a big deal. But some of these players, they're all Lynn guys. They all have jobs. That's, yeah. Tell me about these guys. So, I mean, that, that, when, I, when I started it, I grew up playing basketball in Lynn since I was younger. And it's, it's the, the talent out here is, I mean, it's such as Lynn, compared to the rest of the country, Lynn's like tiny. And, and the talent that's produced out of Lynn every single year, I mean, it, it's ridiculous. We have like two or three players go D1, like six or seven go and play college ball somewhere every single year out of school from Lynn or in a school from the North Shore. Um, We've been lucky enough to, to get players like um, Antonio Anderson, played on the national championship team with Memphis and Calipari and Derrick Rose, went on and played in the NBA for um, several different teams. Um, Dwight Bruinted played in the D-League, played over in Israel. In, uh, Israel. Um, Tony Gallo played over in, in Europe and Holland. Um, I mean, there's just so many players. Like Lynn, that, I think eight or nine of our players are from Lynn. Roberto, um, Valon Sanchez, he he he's from Lynn Classical. And he went to high school with that guy. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him down when we were doing the field segment. Um, he's as stoked as could be. That's you know, it, you got some good people on your team. You know, these guys these aren't these guys aren't jerks. They care. They have families. They have jobs. They've been in the Lynn community since the beginning. Um, so 
that stuff's huge, man. Mm -hmm. I think that you guys are going to have a lot of success as long as you just stick with it. Uh, a lot of people say the only thing to it is to do it. And um, you're learning that right now. You're putting in 20 to 40 hours a week. Um, tell me a little bit about some upcoming events, any fundraisers. How can people get involved? Yeah, so, I mean, we, we, want, we want people, I mean, it, people need to, we want people to come out and see the, what we have. We have the best, the best basketball you'll ever see around here, and it's for a cheap price. So that, that's our main thing, is, 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 pay, is getting fans to come out and see professional basketball for extremely cheap price. And they're going to have a lot of fun while they're there. So what we've been doing with the Y is, is, is working on, on getting um, more kids involved and more kids camps. So we're working with the YMCA to start a kids camp over Christmas break. Um, it'll be about the first week in, in January. Um, I want to say January 6th, which is a Saturday. Okay. Um, um, the Y is doing open camp. It's the, it's the first Saturday in January. First Saturday in January. Yeah, and they're doing an open camp for all the kids. The North Shore Ties will be running the camp. Excellent. Um, we'll be teaching the kids basketball, doing instructions, camps, all that type of stuff. And, and then from there, we're going to be running the league over at the Y. So any kid in high school, junior high, elementary school, we're going to work individually with all the players in the leagues over at the Y. Awesome, awesome right. news. Uh, Jake Canty uh, with the North Shore Tides. Uh, Jake, thanks for being on the show today. Uh, if you guys are looking for more information, you can go to NorthShoreTides.com. That's where you can find some more information on the team. Uh, Jake, again, it was a pleasure. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Now we're going to go to the question of the week. Tweet your answers to our Twitter handle, Lynn Sportscast. The first to reply with the correct answer will receive a coupon for a free pizza at Little Caesars. Last week's question, the NHL record for most total goals in one game by two teams is 21. With 16 goals, which team holds the record for most goals scored in one game? The answer was answered correct by Patrick Gibb, and of course it was the Canadians. This week's question of the week, two NBA icons are tied for most rebounds per game. Will Chamberlain holds the record, averaging 22.9 rebounds a game. Who's the second with 22.5? Again, tweet your answers to our Twitter handle, Lynn Sportscast. First to reply with the correct answer, we'll receive a coupon for a free pizza at Little Caesars. Hi, I'm Caleb Reddick. We only have so much time for this segment, so let's just dive into it. Here today we have, from Lynn Tech, we have um, LaShawn Snow, and from English, we have, from the English basketball team, Deidre Newson, and also from English, hockey player, Matt Cole. All right, let's just start off. LaShawn, you're over at Tech. How do you like it? Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good? Yeah. You're, you're a track player? Uh, yeah, I run the 50 and I occasionally do the relay at sometimes. What are some characteristics that you would need to run a 50? What, what do you need to do? Uh, you just have to have the speed, the momentum, and stamina to run the 50. How is Tech's tra track team? How did they do last year? Uh, not too good. Like individually, we had a few good people, but that was really it, and mm -hmm. we wouldn't like. So, winning. how are you guys gonna come back this year to improve? Uh, we're gonna play harder, um, run faster, and make sure we can finish the race. What are some things in practice that you can work on to improve yourself? Well, just keep on running and um, just keep on running. Do you That's have it. certain drills? Well, you would like, you would see how your starts go. You'd. Make sure you get your starts right, mm -hmm. and make sure you get that right burst of energy to run through. How is the coach over there? He's been there for four years, correct? Yes. He's How do a, you like him? He's a really good coach. He's been coaching me for four years, like you said, and I like him a lot. What is something that some things that the coach does uh, well, to help the team? Well, he um, tells us all the keep coming to practice and if we keep coming to practice we'll get better as a team and as a whole and yeah you're also a captain over at tech mm -hmm. how do how do the coaches pick captains uh well the coaches pick off people that are responsible and that will lead the team and make sure that things get done and they're responsible dj you're over at english how do you like it there um i kind of like it i mean the I like the athletics more than I like the school, but... <laughs> the athletics. English had a great team last year, right? Yeah. 
Um, you guys won the St. Mary's Classic. You guys made it pretty far in the playoffs. How are you guys looking this year? Um, we're looking pretty good this year. We have a strong, solid um, first four, which are the, first, the four captains. They're very solid and strong. Um, we should go pretty far this year. Mm -hmm. What are some things in practice that you can do to work on your stuff and keep up what you guys did last year? Um, we need to work more on our defense. Like so what are out. some things that you would do to work on your defense? We need to box out. We need to get offensive and defensive rebounds and just play every game that gets our last. So can you do drills on that, or is that just something that you have to learn from a board? No, um, now we do a lot of drills on that. Like this year we do more boxing out drills and rebounding drills than we've done in the four years I've been there. Mm -hmm. now, now what are some goals this year? Our goals are to become win the NEC title again. Again? We're, so how many times have you guys done it? Um, we're going for three-peat this year, mm -hmm. and then after that we want to win the city championship, mm -hmm. beat two and two at St. Mary's, and then we want to win a ring. Nice. How about outside of sports? What are some things that you want to accomplish this year? This year, outside of sports, I, I want to do more community service, and mm -hmm. after I graduate high school, I want to go to a four-year What is some community service that you've already currently done? Um, I currently do community service at the Brothers Table. Mm -hmm. My Brothers Table, it's a, it's a great program, right? Yeah. You like it? It's, um, it's okay. <laughs> what are some things that you do there? I help serve food, and dessert, drinks. What are some um, colleges that you're looking at this year as a senior? Um, I'm looking at the University of New Hampshire and um, Nazareth College in New York. What are some things at those colleges that you're looking at? The what athletic do you like? training program at UNH stands out to me a lot. I mean, I do want to be an athletic trainer. Mm -hmm. All right, over to Matt Cole. You're a freshman. Yeah. We got, we got two seniors right here. What are you doing here? I don't know. Um, I guess I've just worked hard to get where I, where you, I wanted to be. You've worked hard. So you, you play for the Jets? Yeah, I do. The hockey team? Yep. You're, so you're the goalie? Yes, I am. So you're one of four goalies? Four goalies, yeah. Four goalies. So how is a freshman mixing it up with seniors and juniors I, and playing? I personally enjoy it. I was kind of nervous coming in, but I definitely got a warm welcome from everyone around mm -hmm. me. So it's a very nice hockey team. Yes. Everybody gets everyone along. Everyone gets along. Always working well. That's cool. There's no messing around. No. Straight I mean, to work. That's what you got to do. When did you start hockey? Three years ago. Three years ago? Three years ago How'd you get into it? Um, I met with a goalie coach, and mm -hmm. I'd always been interested in it, and it just kind of took off from there. Mm -hmm. I started doing a couple clinics, and I just fell How is it. the team looking this year? I think we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty strong. What Our, are some uh, things that you like about this year? This year? For the team. I think... Um, the coaching staff has just done an awesome job. What are some um, things that you think that they've done a good job on? They're definitely, uh, you know, keeping everyone in, in line mm -hmm. and uh, working everyone hard. It's always what about just, the players? I think they're doing a great job. What do you like about um, them? I think they just always come in with a positive attitude and they're always willing to work. Positive attitude is always a great thing. It is. Um, what are some of your goals this year as a freshman? Playing varsity. I hope to get a couple more starts, and I really just want to become acquainted with the coaches and stuff, and I just kind of want to mm -hmm. find my way in. What about outside of sports? I know you're only a quarter into high school. Yeah. What are you thinking about this year out of sports? What would you like to do? What I like to do, um, I really want to keep my grades where they are. Mm -hmm. um, I want to keep. So you high. came in basically all A's. Basically, yeah. I like to keep them there. I really want to get into a uh, good college. Cool. Uh, cool. Kind of focusing um, on that. Do you do any community service? I do. I work with my church. So tell me about my church. What is that? Uh, my, no, my church. Oh, <laughs> your, your church. Yeah. What's the name of the church? Um, it's a church on Linfield Street. I think it's like mm -hmm. Eve. What do you do there? We um, help. There's a lot of um, older people there, and we try to do our best to help them out. Mm -hmm. um, so what are we, some things that you help them out with? Do a lot of gardening and shoveling gardening. during the winter. Oh, you shovel snow for them? Yeah. Yep. That's always good. I hurt your back. Um, <laughs> Over to Deidre. Yes. <clears throat> what are you guys currently doing this year? How, how are you guys doing in your first couple games? What do you think? Um, our first game was yesterday, and we won by 41. 41? Yes. So that's co a complete blowout, correct? Yes. <laughs> I'm very proud of my team for doing that. We all worked hard. Every player who came off the bench put in 110% effort. How do, you, how do you beat a team by 40? some odd points. How do, you, how do you do that? 
Because we know when one player has an off game, there are enough players on our team to pick up where she left off. Mm -hmm. So it's like we all have confidence in each other, and we don't get mad at each other for scoring points. We, mm -hmm. We're happy. Matt, you guys just had your home opener the other night. The other night, yeah. The other night. Um, one of the key players, he's a, he's a captain, he goes down. I, th I think something went wrong with his leg or something. Yeah, um, he fractured his foot. He ended mm -hmm. up fracturing his foot. How how did the team keep on going on without without one of the big captains? I think we just knew that he was there, still supporting us, mm -hmm. and it also really brought the intensity up because we wanted to win it that much more mm -hmm. now that he was injured. What um, what was the score of that game? It was seven one. Seven to one. Yeah, we really. So that's that's also a blowout. Yeah, we really dominated. Um, so what are some things that you guys did to score? How did, what did you take advantage of? We, from the first minute, we came out flying. Uh, we didn't stop. Flying. We didn't look back. Mm -hmm. um, it was just the mental toughness, too. We just kept plowing through. And, and tonight, you also had a game. Yeah. You, you had a shout-out? Yeah, I, I did. That's great. Thank you. Congratulations. Um, back over to Leishan. What is your trade over at Tech? Uh, my trade is TV. TV, so you do what we're doing right here? Yeah, basically. How do you like it? Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I, j I just do all the cameras and editing and film production and all that stuff. So how do you like the studio? Uh, it's great. I like it a lot. It's That's cool. Blinding. Well, like I said at the beginning of the show, we only have so much time for this segment, so it's nice to have all of you guys on. I wish you the best for the season this Thank year. You. And over to the top three for this week for sports. Rudolph shot, no good. Lucian with another rebound. That's going to do it. Way out in front. Boom, lays it in. Third time in the game that Notre Dame has had a one goal lead. Bouncing, puck, Callahan scores! It bounced and Callahan just took a swipe at it and knocked it in. Stolen away by Rosario. A minute and counting. English by one. This is a big possession. Hogan throws it in! Well, that's our show for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you know next week we won't be airing because it's the holiday season. Uh, we will be back first Thursday in January. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Uh, for any feedback, you can find us at www.lincamtv.com slash shows slash Linmass Sportscast or on Twitter at Lynn Sportscast. From Linmass Sportscast, we're your host, Sean Donahue. And I'm Caleb Reddick. Wishing you all the best. <laughs>